Hello, sports fans and football fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, and today I am here with the next game in our Chicago Bears 2023 replay. Now, as you can see by the standings, we are leading the NFC North presently with a 4-1 record. We've scored 138 points and only allowed 101. So, that's a really good record. We started the season by beating Green Bay 38-17. Then we beat Tampa Bay in overtime, 30-27. to Then we beat the Kansas City Chiefs, 31-14. But then we suffered a bit of a setback with a loss to Denver by the score of 23-17. And then we hung on by the skin of our butts to beat Washington, 22-20. When time ran out on Washington as they were driving to get into field goal range. And so now we are playing Minnesota, and as you can see by the standings, Minnesota is at the bottom of our division presently at 1-4. and four. And so we are going to, with all of that out of the way, we're going to start the week. And you can see that we are on manual, so we will play one full week. Let these games play through, and then we are going to take on the Minnesota Vikings. Now, I do expect Kirk Cousins to be their quarterback, but we'll see. Um, at this point in the season, in real life, he was still the quarterback of the Vikings. So, um, And he has enough, obviously, uh, passing uh, attempts to still be playing at this point of the season. So, there, there we go. And uh, we're getting ready to go here. And I will launch the game. Yep, week six. And we are, they are kicking off. No, we're kicking off. All right, we're kicking off. And we're at home. I guess they won the toss and elected to receive. And they are, they're bringing it out. And, man, they're going to get a nice return here to the 32-yard line. So, um, we will go through their, uh, their offensive lineup and our defense. Of course, they have Justin Jefferson out at flanker. They have TJ Hawkinson at uh, tight end. Right tackle is Brian O'Neill. The right guard is Ed Ingram. The center is Garrett Bradbury. The left guard is Dalton Risner. And the left tackle is Christian Derisaw. They will have third wide receiver K.J. Osborne. And they will have Jordan Addison at split end. In the backfield, they do have Kirk Cousins. He attempted 311 passes for a 69.5 completion percentage. And in the backfield with him is going to be Alexander Madison. So, with that, oh, and then our defense. Defensively, we're going to have Montez Sweat across the front line, Justin Jones, Andrew Billings, and Demarcus Walker. Linebackers will be Jack Sanborn and uh, TJ Edwards. And um, in the backfield, the defensive backfield, we will have Jalen Johnson. Joaquin Brisker, Eddie Jackson, um, Kyle Gordon, and Tyreek Stevenson. So I think I got everybody, and with that, we will take a snap. I'm going to start out with the balanced defense. I always do that to try to feel the other team out a little bit. He is running the ball, and we do stop uh, Madison after a gain of five, though. I'm going to take a chance that he is going to try a run here. And we're going to key on Madison. And he does, and he does, and he still gets five yards. He gets the five yards in the first down. Even though we were keying on him and looking for the run. Madison must be one hell of a running back. So, um, we are going to go, I'm going to look for the pass here, and I'm just going to look for the general pass. And he is passing. 
and it is incomplete. I think on second and ten I would say he's going to pass again. So this time we're going to look for the pass and we're going to pass and pass and double team Jefferson. And he is passing and I would guess he's probably looking for Jefferson. And we are there. He finds Johnny Munt on a quick out though for seven yards and so he has a third and three. Hopefully we can stop him here. Um, I'm gonna say he's gonna pass. I'm just putting in a general pass though. He is passing and it is incomplete and I expect him to punt. So this is our second divisional game of the year. The first one being the first game of the year that we played against Green Bay. And he punts the ball, trying a coffin corner, but it goes into the end zone, so we're going to have a touchback. All right, so offensively, we have uh, DJ Moore at split end. We have Robert Tunyon at second tight end. Braxton Jones at left tackle. Left guard is Tavon Jenkins. The center is Lucas Patrick. We've got Nate Davis at right guard. Right tackle is Darnell White, right. Tight end is Cole Komet. Daryl Mooney at flanker. Fields at quarterback and Herbert in the backfield with him. Uh, we'll take a look at Fields. Uh, wait a minute. No, I guess we won't. I guess he can't get his in, in or his total stats. Now his in-game stats will be over here once he, you know. Right, I'm going to try. I'm going to try an off tackle with Herbert to start the game. Ooh, that was a nice little run, maybe three or four yards there. Four yards. Uh, let's see. We are going to... I'm going to go look in past Komet on second and six. And I think he caught it. Yep, caught it for four yards. All right, so we got a third and two. Third and two. Let's go line buck with Herbert. Oh, he's going to get caught in the backfield. I, ah, I got a punt. I thought he, I thought for sure he'd get at least a yard. All right, we're going to punt. Ten forty-two right now left in the uh, first quarter. Forty-five yard punt, and uh, we are going to look for the pass on first down. And he is passing, and even though he we were looking for it, he gets like twelve yards on that. Thirteen, thirteen yards. All right, I'm going to look pass again. Again, just pass without double teaming anybody. There's a probably uh, penalty on uh, Minnesota because they didn't even let him finish the play. So he's got a first and 15. Definitely I'm going to look for, you know what? I'm going to look, no, I'm going to look for the pass. I'm going to go back to looking for the pass. All right, he is passing. And, of course, he hits his man in stride, Jefferson, on a crossing pattern for 11 yards. So he's got a second and four. I'm going to look for the run here, and we're going to key on Madison. No, he's passing. So 
So he rolls out and he hits Ham on a flare for seven yards. All right, I'm going to look for the run. No, he's passing again. Sooner or later, he's going to kill me with that. Oh, intercepted. Yes, I'm going to try to return it. Now, hopefully we don't fumble it. All right, nice. We intercepted Kirk Cousins, who in real life laid a 500 on uh, 500 yards on the uh, Tampa Bay defense in his latest, re latest real life game. You know what? Let's try. Let's go short. Let's try short to Mooney. And now uh, incomplete. So we're just uh, trading, uh, you know, possessions here with no nothing really going on. I'm going to do a flat to Tunyon, flat pass to Tunyon. And it looks like it might be complete. Yep, for five yards. Third and five. Third and five, we're going to go look and pass to Moore. He missed him. Ah. I'm telling you, on the year, Fields has been pretty good, but here he is. He is two of four. Two of four for nine yards. So yeah, we're gonna have to punt. We send Gill out to make the to do the punt. And he returns it to the 24-yard line. 49-yard punt with a 13-yard return. So uh, Minnesota's going, working first and 10 from their own 24-yard line. I'm going to look for the pass. And he is, oh, he's, oh! Did we, are we going to recover? I'm going to fall on the ball. I'm not going to be stupid. Oh, but there was a penalty. If I decline the penalty, it's Chicago ball on the Minnesota 24. If I accept the penalty, it's Minnesota ball on the 14. I'm going to accept it. So, yeah. Whoa, wait a minute. Oh, I should have declined it. What the hell? All right. Ah, I thought it was saying we would have the ball. All right. Uh, that's on me. But we're going to look for the pass. He's got a first and I can't believe that well he doesn't get any yards there zero yards um, second and 20 I'm gonna look for the I'm gonna I'm just gonna look for the pass he is passing And we do stop him. He hit Alexander Madison. For a 15-yard pickup. So he's got a third and five. I'm looking for the pass. And it was either incomplete or we got him before the marker. Yeah, it's incomplete. Good. All right, he's going to punt. Gonna punt, but we could have had the ball down in his end. Well, at least we're showing we can stop him. I am going to try to catch it, and and we don't go anywhere with it. Forty-nine yard punt and a fair catch. Let me try a long. Let's go long. I want to air this one out. Oh, there's going to be a penalty, but it might be on Minnesota. It's going to be an overthrow, but maybe the penalty's on Minnesota. 
because they let us keep going. Yeah, I'm going to accept the penalty. So we got a first and 10 at our 47. So let's try it again. Maybe he'll do it again. Go long to more. Eh, this time he's not going to do it. Not going to make a penalty. But Fields hits him. Hits his receiver, DJ Moore, on a fly for 27 yards. All right, we got a first and 10 at the Minnesota 26. I'm going to go line buck with Foreman. I don't think they expected that because Foreman got quite a few yards. Puts us in easy field goal range for Santos for sure. We got a second and three. I'm going to draw play with Fields. Oh, he only got a yard. Maybe. No, zero. So we're going to have a third and three. Third and three, I'm going to do a look in to commit. And it's incomplete. I'm going to have to kick a field goal here, people. And we will kick the field goal. And we're up 3-0. Yeah, we're up 3-0. 3-0 with 2-something left in the... Uh, 157 left in the first quarter. And we're kicking off to them. And they'll take the touchback. I am going to look for the run. I'm just going to look for the run. No, he's passing. And he gets a lot of yards out of that. He gets some mileage out of that one. To Cam Akers on a button hook. I'm going to look for the run again. Nope, he's passing again. Ooh, but we get him in the backfield. Minus four yards. Nice. He's got a second and 14 from his 40. I'm going to look for the run here. This is right where, exactly where he would run, and he does. And we get him in the backfield again. Minus another yard. So he's got a third and 15 coming up. Now, this is where you pass in double team Jefferson. And it's incomplete, and he will punt to me. So, we are in the second quarter. Moving right along. 3-0 lead for us, and we're about to get the ball back. I'm going to let the ball bounce. And it doesn't bounce very far. That was probably the safer play. And uh, we have a first and 10 at our 29. Let's go look in. To Scott, the flanker. And it's incomplete. So Fields today is 3 of 7 for 36 yards. Let's go short pass to Moore. And it's incomplete. All right, we're going to go short pass to St. Brown. I'm on St. Brown. 
And uh, I don't think he caught that. Now it's incomplete. So we're going to punt. Well, this is a defensive struggle here. We have a 3-0 lead with 13.42 left in the half. And we're going to down the ball to 29. So he's going to have the ball first and 10 at his 29. I'm going to look for the pass. And he runs it. Although we do get him relatively quickly. Looks like maybe only three yards. Yeah, three yard gain. So he's got a second and seven. I'm going to look for the pass. He is passing. Then it's incomplete. He was looking for Hawkinson on that one, and he didn't get him. So we're going to look for the pass. I'm just going to put in just the pass. I'm not going to double team anybody. And we're going to sack Cousins, so they're going to punt. We dropped them for a 70-yard loss. All right, we'll put in the punt return. It is comforting to know we can stop him. I don't know why, because the Vikings offense was actually pretty good. I'm going to try to run. I'm going to try to uh, get some yards, and we don't go anywhere. He just takes the fair catch, I think. So, we have a first and 10 at the Chicago 32. I'm going to do a look-in pass to Lewis. Lewis! And it's incomplete. All kinds of incompletions here with Fields. All right, we're going to go short to Moore. And that will be complete, and he is going to get almost to Minnesota territory. Not quite, though. 15-yard gain on that. And we are going to do a line buck with Herbert. And he gets some nice yards. And we get into Minnesota territory with that. Five-yard gain. And it is second and five. I'm going to go line buck with Herbert again. And he gets almost to the marker, but not quite. Four yards there. Well, you know what we're going to do here. We're going to do line buck, but with fields. And he gets the first down. And that's all he, I mean, he got the first down on a couple extra yards, but that's all he really needed. So we have a first and 10 at the Minnesota 41. Let's go look in pass to Scott. And he hit Scott. Nice. For like a 12-yard gain. 13. Even better. So we're going to go off tackle with Herbert. Ah, he gets caught in the backfield. Zero yards. He gets back to the line of scrimmage. Let's try to air this out. We're going to go short to Scott. Oh, he gets sacked in the backfield. We really didn't need that, although I think Santos might still be able to make it from there. But we need to get some more yards. Third and 13 at the Minnesota 31. You know what? I'm going to go end run with Fields. They'll never expect that. And he gets some yards, but not a lot. Get Santos a little closer. And 
And we will try the field goal with Santos. And it looks like he's going to put it through. And he does. And we take a 6 nothing lead. And we're kicking off. Six minutes left in the half. This has been a real defensive struggle here. No touchdowns for either team, and we only have two field goals. I'm going to look for the pass. He's passing, and we catch his guy, but after a seven-yard gain. All right, I'm going to look for the run. And he does run, but we get him right at the marker, which doesn't help us because now he's got a first down and a clean set of downs. I'm going to look for the... I'm going to go balanced. Let's go balanced here. Ooh, we're going to get him way in the backfield. What the heck was that? All right, he's got a second and 18 at the 27. Now we're going to look for pass for sure. He is passing. And it's intercepted again, and I'm going to try to gain some yards. And we don't get any yards, but we're at the 40. So Cousins today is not having a great day. He is 8 of 15 for 75 yards, no touchdowns, and two interceptions. And I'm going to launch this bad, bad boy to Mooney. Yeah, Fields on his own on the run. But, you know, we like that. Sort of. He gets four yards. I'm going to go off tackle with Foreman. Ooh, he's off sides. Looks like he was off sides. Going to accept the penalty for sure. So we have a second and one at the Minnesota 31. I'm going to go line buck with Foreman. Yeah, let's go line buck with Foreman. And he gets the first down. That's all he needed to do. We got a first and ten at the Minnesota 30. We're going to go flat to Tunyon. Ooh, there is a penalty, but he's letting us play. So, incomplete. Was it on him? Uh, first and tenth, the Minnesota 30. I guess they were offsetting penalties. Yeah, offsetting penalties. All right. I'm going to do a look in to Mooney. And he hits Mooney. Nice. So we're definitely in field goal range. Time is running down. And we're at the two-minute warning. I'm going to go short pass to Mooney. And it's incomplete. I'm going to go looking past a Tunyon. And Tunyon looks like he catches it right at the 20, which was the yard to game for the first down, which we have. First and 10, Minnesota 20, I'll call a timeout. Minute 45 left in the half. 
I'm going to go short to more. Yep, Fields is on his own on the run. Let's see what he can do. How many yards can he get? And he gets hit in bounds, but he gets the first down. 11 yard run for him. I'm going to say no timeout here, so there's a minute 15. I'm going to go with my vaunted end run to fields. And he's going to be hit at the four. Third and goal. I am going to call a timeout. There's a minute seven left. Or second and goal. Second and goal. Let's go. Let's go off tackle with Herbert. Yeah, he's going to get hit at the five. So we're going to call our third and final timeout. We're going to do a short pass to Herbert. And it's incomplete. So we're going to kick a field goal and go up 9 nothing. Hopefully. And it is up and good. And we are up 9 nothing on Minnesota. And we're going to receive the ball in the second half, so. We're going to look for the pass, of course. 45 seconds left. Looks like it was complete. Yep, yeah, for four yards. And we're going to look for the pass. And he moved, it looked like. Second and 11. Pass, even though he's probably not going to pass. And that should be the half. With us leading 9 nothing, We will look at the stats after, I, after we are set for our first play of the second half. And that will be a touchback. So if we look at the box score, reports, box score... Cousins is 9 of 16 passing for 79 yards, no touchdowns, and two interceptions. Fields is 7 of 16 for 74 yards, no touchdowns, no interceptions. Madison for them has three rushes for 10 yards. Ty Chandler has three rushes for a yard. Cam Akers has two for two. Fields has six rushes for 26 yards. Khalil Herbert has six for 11, and... Deonta Foreman has two for eight. So, nine nothing up. Let's air this bad boy out and go long to more. And was that complete? Yeah, four yards. I guess he had to go to the outlet man and got four yards.
Let's go off tackle with Johnson. Uh, he's going to get caught in the backfield. So we're er, at the line. So we're going to have a third and six. Third and six. Going to go flat pass to Scott. And he's going to get sacked. All right. Well, our defense is holding, so... And he's going to get a nice field position out of that at the 36-yard line. We're going to look for the pass. I will look increasingly more for the pass because he's like... And we intercepted it again! I'm going to try to gain some yards. I probably shouldn't, but I am. And we get it back into his territory. We've picked off Kirk Cousins three times. Unreal. All right, we're going to do a look in to Tunyon. I don't know who that was on. Tunyon catches it, though, and he gets some good yards, so it's, hopefully it's not on us. 15 yard gain there. Uh, if we accept the penalty, it's Chicago ball on the Minnesota 42. Decline it, it's Chicago ball on the Minnesota 32. So I'm going to decline it. <laughs> All right, we have a first and 10 at the Minnesota 32-yard line. Let's go line buck with Johnson. And he doesn't get much. Two yards. Let's try a flat pass to Moore. Ooh, it's over Moore's head. Field's not having a real good game this game. I mean, coming into this game, he had some seriously pretty good stats. Third and eight. I'm going to just line buck with Fields. Just get this thing closer and see what we can get. All right, well, he didn't get the, he didn't get the first down. But he gets it closer for Santos. And we will try the field goal. And the field goal is going to be up and good. Santos, by the way, is on my fantasy team, so if this were a game today that the Bears were playing, I would get a lot of fantasy points from Santos. We're up 12 nothing, so he needs two touchdowns to take the lead. Going to look for the pass. 10.47 left in the third quarter. He runs the ball. I mean, at this point, he can run the ball all he wants. Going to look for the pass. Ooh, we're offsides. First and ten for him. I'm going to look for the pass. And we're going to sack Cousins. Nice. At the 25-yard line. Cousins is having a terrible game. We are harassing and picking him off and all kinds of stuff. Cousins is 9 of 17 today for 79 yards and three interceptions. He's passing... And we were looking for it, and we do get him, but it's 
going to be third and five because he gets a 15-yard gain there. Still on third and five, I think he's going to pass. And he is. And we, yeah, he gets a nice 10-yard gain out of that to Hawkinson, who is a very good receiving tight end, by the way. We're going to look for the, uh, I'm going to look for the run here on first down. No, he's passing. But it's incomplete. Nice. Going to look for the pass on second and ten from midfield. And we do catch him right at the marker, though, so he's going to have a new set of downs. First and ten for him at our 40, 821 left in the game. And he runs the ball. And he's going to run it for a long time. 13 yard pickup. Going to look for the pass. He runs it again. This time we get him after like five or six yards. Five yards. Going to look for the pass on second and five. He runs it. And we don't get him. And he's going to be a touchdown. So that was a long run there. Twenty-two yard run for a touchdown. We'll put in the kick block, but we don't block it. So it is twelve seven. Six forty nine left in the third quarter. Going to try to run with the ball. And we get it out to the 29, it looks like. Let's go flat to the flanker, Mooney. And that is complete for five yards. Six yards. Second and four. Let's go line Buckwood Johnson. He's going to get the first down and a lot more. Nice. 13 yard pickup there. Go short to Tunyon. It's incomplete. Let's go end run with our man fields. And he's going to get some yards. Baby, he's going to get some yards. He gets a first down, and he's still going. Look at that. I love that play. Worked like a charm there. Let's go short to Mooney. Let's try to pop this thing in the end zone. And he gets it to the one. Well, I'm not real worried now. I think we're going to have a touchdown. Eventually. Let's hope.
we're going to go line buck with Foreman. And he gets a touchdown. So we matched his touchdown. We'll kick the extra point. Yeah, there's a flag on the play. Gonna have to try it from further back. But it's still good. And that puts us up 19 to 7. Nineteen to seven, three forty-eight left in the third quarter. And we're gonna uh, put in the pass. I mean, it's getting real late for him now. He can run the ball all he wants. It gets three yards, I think. There, yeah. I mean, run it to your heart's content. Because I have a 12-point lead on you. With the third quarter winding down. Oh, but that's going to be a long bomb for a, for a uh, big completion. And I was looking for the pass. I just didn't double-team Jefferson, which would have been a good idea there. But we're going to look for the pass. And he runs. And he gets a few yards out of that. Five yard gain. Uh, we're going to look for the pass. He is passing. And passed it to his running back. Who got the first down? Screen pass for seven yards. All right, first and ten at the Chicago 13. I'm going to look for the run. No, he's passing. And that's going to be passed into the end zone for his second touchdown of the game. Luckily, though, we have three field goals and a touchdown, so he is still not winning. We're going to put in the kick block. We don't get through, and he does get the extra point up. So it's going to be 19-14 uh, us. Still with the five point lead. And that'll be a touchback. I'm going to try a bomb here again. We're going to go long to more. Uh, he has to do an outlet. But the outlet was nice, it's going to get a lot of yards. So he hits Deonta Foreman on a screen right. Let's go off tackle with Foreman. Oh, he gets some good yards. We're moving the ball. Exactly what we want to do. Second and four at the Chicago 48. I'm going to go line buck with Fields. He only gets maybe a yard. Yeah. Third and three. Let's go look in pass to Komet. And it looks like it's complete for a first down. Yep, 
Four yard pickup by Komet. We keep the chains moving. And we're in the fourth quarter. Up by five. Let's go line buck with Foreman. He gets some good yards. Four yard gain there on first down. I'll take it. All right, we have a second and six at the Minnesota 43. I'm going to go looking past to Tunyon. And it looks like he caught it. Yep, four yard pickup. So we got a third and two at the Minnesota 39. We got to pick this up. I'm going to go flat to Komet. And we do, I think we got it. I think he caught it. Yep, for a four yard gain. You can always depend on Cole Komet in a pinch. All right, we got a first and 10 at the Minnesota 35. Let's go line buck with Foreman. Huh, look at that. Foreman is carving these guys up. I mean, and that's what we want to do. We just want to eat the clock. We'll go line buck fields to give Foreman a play off here. And Fields gets some good yards. Five yard gain for him. All right, second and five from the 16. We're gonna go short pass to Moore. And he is going to be a touchdown machine on this one. Short pass, touchdown to DJ Moore for 16 yards. So Fields today is 16 of 27, 156 yards and a touchdown. We're going to kick the extra point. Ooh, that's a penalty on the play again. So he'll have to try the extra point from further back. And it's up and good. So when it seems like when Minnesota scores, now Minnesota is scoring now, but when they score, we match them. So it's 26-14, he's down by 12 again. And there's 11.38 left to play in the game. I'm going to put in the pass. No reason to look for... Oh, we're offsides. All right, we're going to put in the pass. Ooh, we're going to catch his running back way in the backfield. I guess he overrode my my uh, play pick. So now he's got a second and thirteen. We're gonna look for the pass, and well, you know what? We're gonna look for the pass and double team Jefferson. No, he runs it. Why would he do that? Oh, it was second and thirteen. Well, he only gets two yards though. Third and eleven. Gonna put in the pass. Excuse me, and double team Jefferson. We're going to pick it off again. Are you kidding me? I'm going to try to gain some yards. This is like Kirk Cousins' worst game that he's ever had.
All right, first and 10 at the Minnesota 43, 10 26 left to play. We're up by 12. Line buck with Foreman. <coughs> Got him in the backfield. Let's go, line buck Johnson. <coughs> There's a penalty on the play. And it was on him. So second and sixth, the Minnesota 39. Line Buck Johnson again. Here's another penalty. I'm going to accept the penalty because I know we didn't get a lot of yards. Second and one at the Minnesota 34. Line Buck Johnson. <coughs> well, we got a third and two coming up. Let's go looking past a Mooney. And that's going to be complete for a first down. Let's go short to more. It's incomplete. Second and ten, let's go off tackle with Johnson. Man, he's going to get a first down and a little more. First intent, the Minnesota 15. Let's go short to Mooney. Incomplete. Second and 10 at the 15. Let's go off tackle with Johnson. Hey, he'll get caught in the backfield. The important thing, though, is to eat clock here because we can kick a field goal and uh, third and 12. I'm going to go short to commit. And he's going to get sacked. All right, well, we got a field goal, and if this is good, we're up by 15, which means we're up by two touchdowns, one of them with a two-point conversion, with only six minutes left in the game. And it is going to be up and good. The kickoff, he is going to take for a touchback. Only 542 left. We're going to look for the pass because he has to have two touchdowns in five minutes and 42 seconds. And it's incomplete. And this really plays into how the season has been going. We have been very, very good. And uh, the Vikings have been very, very bad. Looking for the pass again, obviously. So he'll have a third and seven coming up, it looks like. Third, third and three, I mean. He got seven there. And 
And we are going to look for the pass. And he gets he doesn't get out of bounds. I think we got him in bounds. But he gets a first down, so there is that. Gonna look for the pass. He gets out of bounds, I think, to stop the clock. And that's an incomplete pass right there on second and eight, so it's going to be third and eight. Third and eight from his 41. Of course, he would go for it on fourth down. So. And I think that's incomplete. Yep. So he's got to go for it on fourth down. And we're going to catch him in bounds and short of the first down, so we are going to take over on downs at the 49-yard line of Minnesota. First and 10 at the Minnesota 48. Okay, 48. Let's go long. Long to Mooney. I mean, we're playing with house money now. Oh, we're off. We were a uh, false start. First and 15. Let's do the same thing. Long to Mooney. And he's going to catch it. Dang. I mean, you know, I'm all for rubbing it in on a uh, division opponent. So, 41-yard bomb there by Fields. Fields today, 18 of 31 for 204 yards and a touchdown. No interceptions. Going to go line buck with Herbert. And he gets two yards. Second and eight. Going to go off tackle with Foreman. Well, I guess uh, on third down, I got no choice. Third and eight, I got no choice but to do a short pass to commit. But Fields is going to run it, and he doesn't get a lot of yards. All right, fourth and seven. We're going to kick the field goal. And that is good. So it's a uh, first and ten. Well, we're gonna we're gonna kick off. A minute thirty-seven left in the game, and we're up thirty-two fourteen. Winterfield put the backup quarterback in. He doesn't. Cousins is still out there. And he gets a uh, pass for some yards, six yards. Gonna put in the pass. Minute seven left. He 
He only has one t- timeout, too, but it doesn't really matter. At this point, he can't really. It's impossible to win. And he runs it up the middle, but we caught him short of the first down. Of course, he has to go for the, the uh, first down, so he's going to go for it on fourth. Going to look for the pass. He runs it. I knew he was going to run it, but you got to look for the pass in case he throws a bomb. All right, first and 10 for him at the 37. I'll look for the pass. Yeah, he's just running the clock out. That might be the game, too. Yep, that's it. So we will look at the uh, final stats. We win the game 32-14, and we go to 5-1 and one on the year. An incredible. And you know, I mean, if you watch me do, I did the replay last year for the Bears, and they did about what they were going to do. They had a bad season. Cousins was 19 of 33, 208 yards, one touchdown, but four interceptions. Fields was 18 of 31 for 204 yards and a touchdown. And I'll just let you look at their running back stats and all the receiving stats that we had. Really quickly here. Santos, man, Santos was three of three. Or wait a minute. Um, he was six of six on field goals. Two and two, two for two on extra points. So that's going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.